again a wonderful question the sum of two non co prime numbers added to their hcf gives us 91 let's say the numbers are a and b and let's say the hcf of a comma b is h now we know that hcf is not equal to 1 we know that a plus b plus h equals 91 now hcf of a and b is h we know that a can be written as h into m b can be written as h into n h is a factor of both of these numbers that much we know so h divides a and h divides b that much we know but what we have to build in straight away the moment we write a as h into m b as h into n is that m and n have to be co prime the highest common factor of a and b is h so i take off h from a and b what i am left with those two numbers cannot have anything in common think about this the very 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 vital point this is going to chase us throughout hcf and lcm the moment we have two numbers a and b with the hcf of h we can write a as h into m b as h into n i can hcf is a factor of both numbers so m and n are natural numbers here but m and n cannot have anything in common because if they had something in common that common thing would also have been extracted and been put into h so if i extract h out of a number the highest common factor out of a number between two numbers what i am left with there cannot be anything in common right so let's write this down so a plus b plus h is 91 or h into m plus h into n plus h equals 91 this is a big breakthrough h into 1 plus m plus n is 91 now think about this 91 is not prime right 91 7 into 13 so 91 can be written as 7 into 13 13 into 7 1 into 91 91 into 1 four different ways of writing it now hcf is 1 hcf sorry hcf these two numbers cannot be 1 because they are not co prime right? so straight away we know that 1 into 91 is ruled out i'm going to write down all four possibilities 91 can be 1 into 91 7 into 13, 13 into 7, 91 into 1. HCF is not 1, so this is ruled out. HCF being 91 and M plus N being 0, this is also ruled out. So we have two possibilities. Break those down. Let's say HCF is 7, 1 plus M plus N is 13, or M plus N is 12. Very simple. HCF is 7, 1 plus M plus N is 13, M plus N could be 12. So, M and N could be 1 and 11, 2 and 10, 3 and 9, 4 and 8, 5 and 7, 6 and 6. And then the other way around, that is still possible. 1 and 11 is possible, 2 and 10 is not possible. Remember that if HCF is 7, and M and N are 2 and 10, 2 into 7 and 10 into 7, those two numbers are not co prime. 2 into 7 and 10 into 7 are not sorry 2 into 7 and 10 into 7 their hcf is not 7 remember that so the hcf will not stay as 7 if the numbers are not co prime so this cannot come 3 and 9 are not co prime this cannot come 4 and 8 are not co prime this cannot come 5 and 7 that is possible 6 and 6 not possible so m equal to 1 n equal to 11 hcf is 7 or the numbers being 7 and 77 7 plus 77 plus hcf 7 that is 91 Second possibility, numbers being 35 and 49. 35 plus 49 plus 7, that also works. So with HCF equal to 7, there are two possibilities. 7 comma 77, 35 comma 49. Let's go to the other possibility where HCF is 13. Right? HCF between the two numbers equals 13. M plus N plus 1 equals 7. M plus N equals 6. 1 comma 5 2 comma 4 3 comma 3 obviously 2 comma 4 and 3 comma 3 are not possible the numbers are not co prime so 1 and 5 or the numbers can be 13 and 65 with the hcf being 13 13 plus 65 plus 13 is again 91 so there's one possibility like this one like this 2 with hcf equal to 7 and 1 with hcf equal to 13 so there are three different possibilities that will satisfy this condition We'll see what that answer choice is we'll just mark it down how many such pairs are possible three such pairs are possible 
want to use this opportunity revisit that bit of theory if you have two numbers a and b such that hcf of a comma b is equal to h then a can be written as h into m b can be written as h into m this we all know what is built into this is hcf of m comma n equal to 1 m and n are co prime lcm of a comma b is h into m into n this idea is very important very often this is a starting step for a number of questions hcf is h i extract the hcf what i am left with has to be co prime i put that in and i can simplify find lcm product all of that that all of those become very simple